So, beta, if you want to find out, let's say if the examiner says that create a new column that displays the uh, age of the person. Okay, well, I want to find the age of the person. So, uh, first of all, you should know is that we have a function by the name of now. Now does this. Now is a function that gives me today's date and time. Okay, you know what do I'll do is I'll just make a list of all these so that I can share with you as well. Whatever I discuss with you. Okay. So and then we have another function that we'll do is like if I use this date. Date will do is it will just give us today's date, not time. Just the date. Okay. So here we go. We have another function that displays today's date only. So if we know a function that displays today's date, I could use this to do what? can come again, CSM, HTML, you know that, right? So someday, yes, sir. someday uh, if you have not done it, you can revise it with me. It's really important. Okay. Function database scripting. Next. Um, not only that, I, I will leave this. Now what I will discuss is, for example, I need to find out the first initials. Okay. What do I mean by that? I can use the left function. And I can do is from the surname, uh, we have to take care of the case sensitiveness, S is capital. From the surname, comma two, it extracts the first two characters of the surname. Can you see that beta? So, what have I done? Let's have a look at the syntax. This is what I've done. Left is a function, that's why I'm using these brackets. Surname is a name of a field. It's a name, that's why I'm using square parenthesis because I need to represent a field. Comma 2 means I want to get the two characters, yes or no, right? So if I can do this, I can even use over here is the right function. I guess gets me from the right, okay? And I could do is use the mid. Let's try using the mid. Mid could be used in this way. Try to get from the second and get the next two characters, for example. Let's see what happens. So, O, second, and the next two, O, M, O, H, R, A, yes or no. Okay, this all is better, very, very important, okay? Make sure you, you, you're you following me, totally, okay? This is the main extract of databases, and I'm discussing all this with you today. Okay, right. Then we have is, so we discuss the mid, right, left. Ah, we could even do is, for example, the, the, the question says that you're supposed to generate an email address where you extract uh, the, uh, the second and the third character of the mid name and you plus concatenate it with the right function of the forename two characters of the forename 
concatenate this with at the rate of gmail.com and close this. So I have generated the random email addresses. Okay, I can obviously name it as email. So I get the email. How have we done this? Let's have a look. Let me extend this. Then a Python we put the right function inverted commas as a gmail.com ko here. Because, beta, dekho, I have done is that I have made it. I have concatenated it with the right and I have concatenated it at the rate of gmail.com. Now, since this is a user defined string, it's a user defined string, it has to be in double quotes. Th this will not be in double quotes because it's a function. This will not be in double quotes because it's a function. User defined strings are always in double quotes. Concatenate, concatenate. Yes. Okay, this again is very important. And this is the question that you have to ask. In Excel, it is also here. You know, in Excel, is obviously, it came in um, two, three papers. So, again, there are chances. Okay, yeah. right. Okay, then um, done with this. Then you are supposed to know more things. Um, the other function that we are supposed to know is, for example, I do have the date of birth. If I want to find out the... <coughs> The month, I can use the month function and I could calculate date of birth. This gives me the month. It takes the month out from here. I could use is the day and all I need to do is day and the year. Now these things are very obvious but um, I can't ignore them. So if I run this I get the month, the day and the year. Right? And uh, let me just write them down because I'll share all these with you. You should keep them in your notes. Um, whenever you're revising any module, you should know these. And you have is this as well. Now, since you've done this, uh, you know what a dynamic and a static parameters are. While I'm discussing this, just a thought. I just thought of it. You know what's a dynamic parameter and what's a static parameter? Remember? No, sir. Okay. Um, for example, if I write, if I run this, I get is this month, right? And if I write over here, obviously 7, it will give me all the 7 values. You get the point? But what if mm. instead of entering 7, I use square parenthesis and I write over here is enter the month. If I run this, it says enter the month. So if I enter over here is 7, gives me 7. I go back. If I run this again, if I enter 4, it gives me 4. So whatever I do, I keep on running it, I enter whatever I want to do, I get that value. The advantage of this is that, remember, if, if, I, if I make a report out of this, see? If I make a report out of this, let's say I take some time, and I design a very good looking report. Okay, I, I spend some time. Uh, let me just make it landscape design one. Here we go. I have designed one. I'll just uh, make sure that I've saved my report. It's there. I close the report. Now they do, and I close, close my query as well. Whenever I open up the report, it will ask me for the month. I enter over here is not seven, let me enter five. I get a report where I get 5. I open up the report again and I enter where is 3. I get 3. Because since my report is based on a query and my query basically has this uh, dynamic par prompt parameter, it will work as a dynamic report. It's not a static report, it's dynamic. A static report does not change, it remains the same. But because you, you, have, you have put this you have not only converted your query into dynamic, you have also converted your 
report into dynamic you get the point beta yes or no yes. okay i could even do is um let me just copy this look at this what will i do and this all is really important okay um you you, uh, you might have discussed all these points in the class haven't you between enter the month i could say is enter the first month between this and i could say is enter the second month okay so now if i run this i enter over here is show me between 2 and 6 So it shows me between two and six. Can you see that? You get the point. So sir, between two and six being counted. Ha, between hota hai na. Between me two hota hai. Wo to if I do is if I say is show me greater than two. Uh, sorry, greater than and show me less than. Is me nahi hoga. Now if I enter here is two and if I enter here is six. Two and six will not show. So you should you should know where when to use comparison operators. Or between, both are different. You get the point. Okay, we call this is dynamic uh, parameter. Okay, please remember what is dynamic parameter. Uh, typing the values. on your own is known as static parameter static means doesn't change you get the point okay sure about yes. this okay um just thought of it maine kaha ye bhi discuss kar lo okay um uh, it's becoming too lengthy let me just uh, remove this maine copy kar diya uh the next is uh is the format just like the text function we do in excel uh for example i want to define the new format so i can use is the format ka function okay where i could use is over here is the date of birth and i could say comma and i say d d d d space m and space y y y isse kya hoga let's have a look what's happening so if i run this now i get a new format of my date of birth okay for example i could even do is instead of mmm i could type 2m more so i get the full month when is day november 11 january 7 see so by working through by working through the dmy you can define your own uh day month year format you get the point beta mm. so this is another function we were discussing this yes. is, is the format function yes or no yes okay good um then oh again very important this, again this has also come in, in in the paper okay um remember beta I, I, i would like you to do one thing now i know you the uh, time is an issue for me what you need to do is uh, starting from june 17 june 17 se leke onwards do p4 to p2s and p4 and you have to start emailing me as soon as possible okay p2s p4 pure pure paper entire paper you can't do a paper okay. you can't do a paper i'll do them with you or i will share the video lecture with you but please let's do it as soon as possible i want to see all the papers done from you okay 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 acha next is beta ke uh, if function if is important i could say is that um well i should have not deleted it um well anyway i'll just press control z yeah so if the month is 7 uh, okay i could use over here is um caesar I could say is double I F. Let me do it, then I'll explain you entire thing. It's if it's double I F. It's not single if. Okay. I could say is that if the month 
is equal to 3 it's spring otherwise it's uh, not spring so if I run this it will look at the month and wherever it's 3 it gives me spring you get the point and the examiner could so even why do we write double F? the reason why we write double F is because in, in the programming of access if function has already been used we cannot use if over here it's if double I F access ke criteria mein hamesha if use hota hai so if this is my criteria my condition if the condition is true do this otherwise do this this is really important for P4 especially okay okay let me use multiple if okay let's discuss it I could say is idri kar lete and then I can copy and paste if month is this then do what fine then I say control C true then I say comma if month is equals to sorry uh, is uh, greater than 3 is greater than 3 I could say is it's uh, summer as in going back if it's greater than 3 to hum isko kar dete hain maine galat kar diya it should be if it's, if it's uh, no uh kar lamba ho jayega isko main karta hu if it's uh, less than 3 it's uh, winter comma otherwise if it's greater than 3 it's uh, spring comma otherwise if it's uh, uh, greater than 6 I have is mm, uh, autumn, whatever spelling are, and then uh, otherwise I have this season right here. I have winter, summer, spring. I don't know when sequence I can you but fine. Now let's just copy this and try. If First and second, first you are right, very good. Yeah, close here. If I am absolutely right, or if come near the guy. नहीं मगर अब आप बात सुनो आप सही कह रहे इधर नहीं इधर नहीं बंद करना आ, कितने हुए three brackets three are opening three are closing so
you get the point it's following the same sequence right so okay. Okay, in case um, um, this this can also come, okay, it's just like the way it works in Excel. The only thing is you just need to take care of this thing, okay, right? Then then what else? Uh, what else is? Uh, let me just discuss that with you as well. Functions, my sorry, ho gaye hain. Um, then obviously INT to discuss kar liya humne. Um, you you can even have the round round. But INT hai to round ki zarurat nahi hai. Day month year. Uh, same way we can have hour minute second okay uh, hour minute second bhi aa sakta hai if we have is time okay will you remember that we can have is the hour remember that okay the hour function now you can get the hour from any time the same way you can get is the minute from any field which has the time and the second where you have is the time right and what else uh, right basically these are these are all the function this is other nahi aayenge ye sare functions hai ओके मगर इतना आपको जेन में रखना जरूरी है दिस इज योर एडवांस डेटाबेस दैट कम्स इन पी फोर क्योंकि नॉर्मल डेटाबेस तो बेटा आपको आता होगा सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड डिस्कस दीज मेन फंक्शन विद यू टू डे इज इट क्लियर एंड इज रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट लेट मी शेयर दिस विद यू ओके मेक श्योर यू यू हैव दिस विद यू ऑल द टाइम ओके यू नो इट ये जो मैं आपसे शेयर करता हूँ बेटा प्लीज इसको इसके नोट डाउन कर लिया कर इसको Okay, so that you remember all this, Thank you. right? Uh, the reason why I'm asking you to do all the papers is because then you will realize that in this module, me you are having more difficulty. So, may I tell you that you take out your time, or you start. Karo. Um, वैसे तो frankly, you know, we 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 should start doing from March 17. March 17 से start करो, P2 करो, P4 करो. P2 करो P4 करो जून का एंड नवंबर सो एट लीस्ट सॉल्व टू टू थ्री पेपर बिफोर द नेक्स्ट क्लास सो दैट यू कैन बी इन द पोजिशन टू टेल मी यू नो सर आई आई बिलीव माई दिस मॉडल इज नॉट गुड ठीक है ना um, साथ साथ मैं आपके जावा का वो सोल्यूशन भी आपको सेव करके मैं भेज देता हूँ um, याद रखना कि जावा इज जस्ट कमिंग टेन मार्क्स एक्सेस एक्सेल ग्राफिक्स are coming of 30 40 50 marks so you need to have per perfection in these modules more doesn't mean ab java ko ignore karo java bhi ab acha karo magar main chara ki you spend lot of time on those modules that have the minimum marks so the access se all the transpoints hai ji bilkul hai beta aur bhi hai wo magar wo different cheeze hai for do you see over here i have the make make table append update then report generation with the advanced points hain um phir uh, form jo banate hain hum usme usme the advanced points hain agli class mein main access khatam kar dunga aapke sath i will finish the entire access with you in the next class java ko hame time se lagaya kyunki usme concept hai access in excel mein it will not take much time okay let me stop the recording hum mai stop